This video is brought to you by iX Systems. Interested in a more interactive learning experience? iX Systems is offering professional free NAS training. Also available is a free hour-long introduction class. Find out how you can register for the classes in the description below. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the basics of CA and SSL certificates in FreeNAS 910. CAs or certificate authorities are the entities that issue digital certificates. A digital certificate proves ownership of a public key to the specific owner of the certificate. In turn, relying parties use these signatures. The CA acts as a trusted party for the owner of the certificate and the party relying on the certificate. SSL or Secure Sockets Layer certificates are small data files which digitally bind cryptographic keys to a certain organization's details. SSL is used for the secure transfer of information between web servers and web browsers. TLS or Transport Layer Security is the successor to SSL, however, SSL is used to refer to both. For those planning to use SSL or TLS to encrypt their connections to the FreeNAS system, a CA must be created first. In this example, we'll show you how to create a secure certificate for your FreeNAS server. First, let's create an internal CA that we can export. From the main menu, click the CAs tab under System, then click Create Internal CA. Give it a name, I'll call this FreeNAS Internal CA. Choose a key length, the default being 2048. Choose a digest algorithm, which is the SHA sum code. SHA-256 is the default unless your organization requires a different algorithm. Lifetime is in days, the default being at 3650. Choose a country and fill in the rest of the details with the correct information. For common name, I'll call this FreeNAS CA. Click OK when finished. It should tell you that your internal certificate authority was successfully created. Next, export the public key of the CA. From the CA's window, select the internal CA you just created. Click Export Certificate on the bottom and save it to your device. Next, we'll be importing the key into our web browser. From your browser, you need to head on over to your certificate settings. I'll be using Google Chrome in this example. Go to Settings, Show Advanced Settings, then Manage Certificates under HTTPS slash SSL. Click on the tab called Authorities. Click Import, then Browse for the internal CA that you created earlier. Go ahead and check all of the boxes for the trust settings, then click OK. Your certificate should now be listed here. You can click done when finished. Next, we'll create a new self-signed certificate. Head on over to the certificates tab. Then click create internal certificate. Since this is a self-signed certificate, use the CA that you created using CAs as the signing authority. Give it a name, I'll call this FreeNAS Internal Certificate. Fill in the rest of the details with the correct information and for your organization. However, for common name, type in the IP address of your FreeNAS server. Click OK when done. It should tell you that it was successfully created. Next, we'll need to enable the secure HTTP settings for your FreeNAS. Go to System, General, and select HTTPS for the protocol. Then select the internal certificate you just created. Now click Save. The FreeNAS graphic user interface should auto-refresh. Once that is done, the secure icon should show on your web browser. As you can see here, your certificate is verified. That's it for the FreeNAS CA and SSL tutorial. Stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for watching. This video was made possible by iX Systems, the sponsor and developer of the FreeNAS project. Many people have asked, how can they support the FreeNAS project? For those interested, we offer a wide range of storage products that leverage FreeNAS. For enterprise customers that need high availability and 24-7 support, we offer TrueNAS. For business customers that need powerful and rock-solid FreeNAS storage, we offer FreeNAS Certified. For home and small office users, we offer the FreeNAS Mini and Mini XL. For more information, visit iXsystems.com storage.